also touch upon the topic of food security mm -hmm. and food resilience, which has been becoming such a concern for everybody uh, who's now meeting uh, everywhere around the world, where ASEAN Summit, G20, everybody's talking about food security. Yeah. Do you think this is something that can be uh, a field of cooperation between Indonesia and China? Yeah, of course. Uh, also, it is regarding the, the latest uh, news that Japan is putting back the Fukushima water, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. One of after, the issues yeah, there is one now. Of the, yeah. One of the food security <laughs> issues that uh, I believe that can strengthen uh, Indonesia and China food uh, security uh, cooperation, uh, especially Indonesia is one of the largest uh, exporter for seafood uh, okay. to China. And then, uh, of course, the crude palm oil uh, also there. But then uh, we are expecting for more and more uh, food commodities, uh, you know, uh, imported from Indonesia uh, to China. Uh, that will be that will be also a good opportunity uh, for Chinese companies uh, to come to Indonesia for, in terms of they are investing not only trading uh, and also they can share the knowledge about the food processing. Okay. Because uh, some of our colleagues and partners also, they, they are uh, mentioning about uh, whether Chinese companies are uh, interested in investing for food processing, not only mm. to, to trade or to source uh, food, uh, food, you know, like the raw, the meat, the, uh, the seafood or even the bird nest, right? I yes. mean, uh, the food processing uh, is one of the uh, crucial input uh, okay. for Indonesia. Um, you know, downstreaming, uh, this, this downstreaming uh, project uh, is being doing by uh, Jokowi president, right? So okay. hopefully uh, there are more and more Chinese uh, counterparts, investors that are interested in food processing industry in Indonesia. I'd like to add something else in terms of, because Mas Fatan earlier mentioned about the maritime sector. Yes. And I think being uh, ourselves a um, marit great maritime nations, I think there's a great synergy between Indonesia's global maritime fulcrum and China's uh, Belt and Road Initiative. Yes. And one of the more recent uh, initiative was the two countries twin parks. Okay. And I visited uh, the areas, the industrial area in Fuching, in Fuchen province okay. um, for this. And Indonesia actually occupies a very special uh, space there. And maritime uh, development sector, especially in terms of fisheries and uh, uh, maritime food, uh, industrial uh, capacity is very much promin prominent there okay. and I think this they are still in the earliest stage and we're actually hoping that there will be more Chinese investment in the three industrial parks that are highlighted in this two countries twin park initiatives.